<clears throat> Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, Bible Teaching with Jeff Deloach. Jeff Deloach! All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Gives us this power, wisdom, knowledge, ability to understand the Bible and things beyond most men's understanding through the Holy Spirit that indwells in us. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters and give them peace and understanding and wisdom and knowledge and all the good that you have. Let them know that you are the best thing that ever happened and ever will happen. You are who we should follow. You're the one that controls us, guides us. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. We thank you over and over again. Amen. You're welcome. Hi. Good morning, good morning. So, Ecclesiastes, the Hebrew title assigned to the speaker of the book is Koholeth, the one who addresses an assembly. Thus, preacher, or better, teacher, the Greek translation of the word Ecclesiastes, from which the title is thus derived. Who's the teacher? Jesus Christ. Who's Solomon? Jesus Christ, son of David. <sighs> yeah. While Solomon is certainly the speaker in the book, he is nowhere identified as the author. This fact has led many, beginning with Martin Luther, to abandon the concept of Solomonic authorship. They allege that the book was written by an unidentified Jew in the post-exilic, post-exilic, sorry, post-exile. Post post-exilic period who assumed the role of Solomon for literary purposes. <laughs> No, it's Solomon. I would say somebody threw Martin Luther in there saying that he didn't believe it was Solomon that wrote the book. It was probably one of the exiles from Babylon that wrote it. I would say that's more of the bullshit than any other bullshit. Oh, it was probably Mar Martin Luther even said. Nevertheless, both the Jewish and Christian view traditionally is that Solomon was the author. That Tradition cannot be lightly dismissed. Interpretation and purpose of the book of Ecclesiastes. This is what they say. Let's see, let's see how correct they are. With the with in the history of the church, there have been two basic views of the theology of the book. One hand, some describe the contents of the book as pessimistic, cynical, skeptical, hedonistic, or agnostic. It's a book of philosophy, thinking, ideas. It's agnostic. It's about knowledge. It's about what you think. It's a, it's a agnostic book. It's what's agnostic, the kenosis, your knowledge. It's, it's a book of some kind of 
esoteric knowledge, right? Agnostic. It is. Fuck, I'm itching. Um, and picture the author as a man of doubt who has wandered far from God. True. What do we know about Solomon? Did everything. He did everything. 700 wives? That's a lot of boning up, people. 300 concubines on top of it. 7 3. <sighs> I would go into 7-3. It's my number. Read Psalm 73. Psalm of Asaph. It'll tell you where I'm at. <clears throat> who I am. On the other hand, many interpret the book quite positively. They say they say whoever wrote it wandered far from God. What did Solomon do? What did Jesus do? When he was Solomon, what did he do? <laughs> He reigned over the physical earth. He was like Joseph, my brother. He, Joseph is my brother. I'm a Benjamite, born of Rachel, and Joseph was my brother. He was born of Rachel also. So these are the things that I know. that pop into my mind sometimes when I'm teaching, when I'm preaching. Here we go again. The Lord keeps showing me that I am who he says I am. Benjamin and Joseph were brothers. I'm a Benjamite. I'm a Benjamite. I'm of the tribe of Benjamin. I know my tribe. I'm a fucking Israelite. God damn it. Me. This is an Israelite. So, he told me I'm a Benjamite of Judah. If I'm Benjamite, who's my brother? My, my closest brother is Joseph, because he's born of my Jacob and Rachel, just like me. He's my brother. He's my full brother. Solomon and Adonijah, not full brothers. but brothers nonetheless, from their father David. <sighs> My full brother is Absalom, the other asshole of the book. You know what? Absalom's not my full brother either, now that I think of it. He had a different mom too. I don't think David had... Two kids from the same woman, maybe Bathsheba. Anyway, I don't know the family line. I I got taken out early for being an asshole. I'm still an asshole, aren't I? <clears throat> Comes with the territory. Um. So what did? What did Solomon do? He wandered far from God. He did whatever the fuck he wanted. <sighs> but he was wise. 
he was the wisest man ever to walk the earth. Why? Because he asked God when he became king. All I want is wisdom to guide my people. So what happened when he asked God, I just want wisdom to guide my people. <sighs> why did he ask for that? First of all, why did he ask for that? Because he loved his people. He loved the whole world so much that he became his own only begotten son. He became He became the love that Solomon was granted. Solomon was granted wisdom because he loved his people. Are you guys listening to me? He was granted wisdom to guide his people because he loved his people more than anything else. He wanted the wisdom to do it. He wanted the wisdom to do it right. He wanted to love them. And so what God, what did, did the Heavenly Father give to Solomon? What did he give to himself for wanting the right thing? Wisdom. What did he, God give himself for wanting the right thing. He wanted wisdom. He wanted to be wise enough to rule the earth full of people. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right? So he gave Jesus love. He gave himself love. <clears throat> the Heavenly Father is Jesus. They're the same. Same, same. <clears throat> one love, one heart. Let's get together. It'll be all right. Are you in the assembly of God? Are you in the congregation? Yes, you are. We all are. Some of us just don't know it. What's it say? Ecclesiastes 3.17 I said in mine heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in mine heart, verse 18, concerning the estate of the sons of men, or the what state we're in, that God might manifest them, that they might see that they themselves are beasts. <sighs> Why are we beasts? Why are we animals? Why, why are we beasts? What's manifesting here on J.D. Nigel Word of Truth channel? The truth is manifesting. What's the word manifest mean? Test. I'm testing you. Why is it a test? Because Solomon's the teacher. He's the preacher. He's the one who's addressing the assembly. He's the professor of the classroom. The master. You guys don't like the Bible? Some of you do. Not very many. I'm telling you the truth. 
telling you the truth. Double-edged sword, baby. You don't like it? It cuts, doesn't it? Ouch. <clears throat> There's nothing better. Ecclesiastes 2... 24, God gives wisdom, knowledge, joy. How do we know Tony Williams, Holy Spirit led and fed? How do we know he's a fucking jackass, jerk, devil, motherfucker? How do we know that? Because he doesn't have the Holy Spirit. God gives wisdom, knowledge, joy. He has no wisdom. He has no knowledge. He's a dumbass who thinks he's a teacher. <sighs> There's nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it, it, it was from the hand of God. So what is the devil trying to do out here? He's giving us allergies to good things. He's taking away the beautiful meat of the cow. They're, they're taking away the beautiful gaminess of the chicken. They're taking away the value of the minerals and the fruits and vegetables. They're taking away, I mean, come on. place is ruined they're shooting us up with stuff that makes us allergic to everything good for who can eat or who else can hasten here unto you more than I what's Solomon saying what is Jesus saying who knows better than me who knows better than me? Me. Jeff Deloach. Who knows better than me? I'm telling you the truth. For God gives to a man. For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight. Wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinner he gives Travail to gather and to heap up that he may give to him that is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. What's the difference between someone who's working their ass off to have the big house on the beach, doing every gathering of everything they want it all they won't stop they want to be president they want to be a senator they want to be a ceo they want to be a big shot baby they want to be a big shot god says be a big shot they have the spirit of big shotism in them Wisdom and knowledge and joy. Some people know how to be a big shot, right? Some people know that not being a big shot is even a bigger big shot. What's it say about gathering, about these people that gathering? 
Part of the futility of trying to find fulfillment in material accomplishments is the fact that one must leave the fruit of his work to another who may well waste the accrued benefits. I hated life is translated correctly and should not be misunderstood as I hate life. It is clearly the temporary conclusion that Solomon, Solomon's historical experiment. What was he experimenting in? Why did Jesus, why did Jesus have no sin? Well, one reason is he had to be pure. He had to be the perfect sacrifice. But in connection to Solomon, being that he is Solomon, what did Solomon not do? This is how we know that sin isn't the problem. The worst sinner ever, the worst sinner ever, <coughs> Solomon, the teacher, the preacher, why can he teach us? I tell you this guy, I try to explain this to people all the time, but nobody wants to hear it. Your sin, Solomon, his sin leads him to understanding. You can't know about something you haven't done. You can say it's bad. Eh. I wouldn't do that. That's nasty. You're nasty. You're rude. You're... Solomon was a rude dude. But I love him. Because he's my lord. Solomon's a rude dude, but I love him because he's my Lord. Truth, truth. He's a rude dude. His dick was probably dripping cum all the time because he was just... This passage is the first seven that give someone, give one of the solutions to life's problems. Enjoy life and work as God's gifts. When a man toils in his own strength, he is bound to suffer pain and grief. The answer then is for him to enjoy his work by receiving it as a gift of God. What's, what's the work I do now? What's the work I've always done? I'm a gardener. I promote life. I promote growth. I promote maintenance. I promote sustenance. What am I working on now? I'm gardening for God. I'm providing food fruit elsewhere work is said to be part of God's curse on man but it can become the sphere of God's blessing to eat and drink used five times in the book must be understood in a good sense Solomon always counsels the fear of God and the concept is used in the Old Testament in a good sense. To eat and drink is a good thing. What did what did Jesus say? 
to his, to his disciples. Every time you think of me, when you eat the bread, I am the bread of life. And when you drink of me, drink of my blood because my blood is what saved your fucking sick ass. Why are people so fucking stupid? Why are we so fucking stupid? I don't get it. Because it's all futile. It's futile. It's vanity, vanity of vanities, vanity of vanities. It's all vanity. I'm watching the girl put on her makeup. Putting on the blush. <laughs> Do I deny my sin? Do I pick up my cross every day and I hate having sex with women. I hate getting high. I hate drinking alcohol. I hate work. I hate, 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 hate. I Hate. I hate cussing. I hate saying fuck. I, I wish I didn't say fuck all the time. And shit and motherfucker. I wish. I, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Please forgive me. Come on, man. Uh, it's futile. Preacher means one who addresses an assembly. He is identified as the son of David, king in Jerusalem, hence Solomon. Isn't Jesus the son of David? Why don't they tell us this? Why? Why am I talking about it? Why? Because it's the truth. Word of truth. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Who am I mad at? Who is Jeff DeLoach mad at? <sighs> Liars. Liars. Dumbass. Liars and smartass liars. All of them. I don't know. I don't know. Tony Williams, are you a Bible teacher? I don't know. Is he saying I don't know because he does know and he's lying? Or does he say he knows because he really doesn't know and he's trying to pretend he knows? This is, the, this is good and evil. It confuses everything. What do they teach in seminary school? How to confuse the fuck out of people. What do they teach you when you go to church? How to be confused as a motherfucker. <laughs>